Okay, now that you have some background images, um, the next thing to do is to create or to work on the style that you uh, wanna make your final presentation. So I've got the three scenes that are going to be part of that. And um, to see the different style types, I'm gonna click on styles here. So when you click on um, the pull down menu here and you go to in model, you'll see which styles are currently in the model. So what we're looking at here is the one that's selected. Um, there's this other one. These are the default style types, but there's a lot more. So if you don't really like what you see here, you have many to choose from. So for example, um, you know, you can like check all of these out. Um, if I go to assorted styles, I can experiment with a few of these. Okay. And, you know, maybe some of them work or don't work with the um, entourage that you brought in or with the image beyond like this. I think this uh, type of um, rendering style doesn't really work with my background image, but I can try out some of these other ones. Uh, so some of them are kind of a little bit more loose, like they look like uh, hand-drawn drawings. Some of them are a little bit more clean. So you have a bunch to choose from. You know, I would be careful to go with something that's really dark. If your background is very light, you kind of want to choose one that kind of is consistent with the background images. You can also go um, and look at the color sets, the uh, grouping, possibly one of those might work for what you have. Um, anyway, I'll leave that to you to decide. Now, one thing that we want to do, um, all of them don't have to be exactly the same style, but I think you'll find that your presentation just has a little bit more unity if you're using at least very similar styles between the scenes. Okay, so whatever those might be. So you're going to go um, to the three scenes that you've created and, um, you know, set the style and generate images from those. Once you've kind of figured out which one you want to use, um, you want to go to the scenes and right click and update the scene. Um, so you can see what what kinds of things it's going to update. I wanted to update the style and fog. So I'm going to click on update. So now if I go to final scene two and then back to final scene three, it should preserve that particular style. Okay, so. Um, and it will indicate what that is. Let's see if I go down to three again. Maybe it doesn't tell you exactly what the style type is. But, you know, when you do select one, make sure you remember which one it was because you can then apply it to the other scenes. So the one I chose was this one right here, pencil on tracing paper. And so now I'm going to go to scene number two and I'll change it to the same one. And I'll do the same thing. I'll right click and update the scene. And then I'll go to final scene number one. I'm going to right click and hide that image. I don't want to appear, change it the visual style, um, and then update, right click and update the settings for, for that particular scene. Now, before you do your, your exporting here, now would be the time to make whatever changes you wanna make to your entourage, or maybe bring in some more components, um, make, you know, move walls, anything that you feel, you know, would improve the image that you've selected here. So I've, I've moved some of my figures around a little bit because I felt like uh, there was a lot of space here in the foreground that didn't have a whole lot of activity. 
Right, and I'm ready to go ahead and generate some 2D images from this now.